So you guys, you guys learned a lot. It sounds like all of you are already starting to dig into where some of your um, stretching points are or your problem points are. Like, I can't figure this out, and I'm hearing it reflected back from the people that I'm talking to. It's like, oh, I need to figure out how to nail that. So um, here, one of the next things that we're going to have you do, though, is you just did a so what exercise and you've been talking about what some of the benefits are to people. So um, the next exercise that we're going to have you do is to, is to write down for yourself those benefits. What are some of those key benefits that are starting to unfold that may not have to do with your mission? This is all about the customer. What is the benefit to the customer? Um, so writing those down and prioritizing the top three or four of those you know, because you, you probably will have a big, long list of what the benefits are. You should. And if you haven't, then that's probably something you should do for homework, is to get yourself the big list, because there's a ton of benefit in everything that everybody's doing. Um, but then, the way that you get to an actual value proposition statement is that you combine some of those. You start to pull those together into a concise sentence or couple of sentences that really makes it clear what the value is to the customer. So when you think about it, um, this is where we get into this danger zone. So again, there's a slide about this, so you don't have to look at all these words, but I'm going to read them to you anyway. Creative professional, so this is for AIR. Part of what we did was try and come up with some of these value propositions. Creative professionals will learn how the power of practical business skills can elevate their careers or organizations. Well, that's like really technical. That is not what people are doing. What they is what what is though? You will make more money. Like that's a really clear statement. You will make more money. Business members and community members will see how the power of the arts and creativity can transform their businesses or communities. You will get more creative. So, like sometimes our language becomes our worst enemy because we want to. We want to describe, we're so passionate about what it is that we think we're doing, but getting it down to the basics is really what we're trying to do here, is to pull it down to the most essential value that you're providing for your customers. And it can be as simple as you have beauty in your life. You know, from, for a piece of art work, that may be what it is, that your soul is soothed. That's okay. That's, this will heal you. That's, that's a totally legitimate and awesome value statement. Um, you know, you will be nourished. You will be, you will have food that you can say you grew yourself. Um, my husband and I um, eloped on Thanksgiving, not just this year, <laughs> but we originally eloped on Thanksgiving Day, and this Thanksgiving we went and we were in St. Louis, and it's unusual for us to do that. We're both from St. Louis. We usually spend it together away from our families, but anyway. Um, hence why we eloped originally. <laughs> <laughs> we were there too. Oh, were you really? Yeah. Oh, that's so funny. Well, but one of the things that we were realizing, one of the things that we brought to the meal is we brought beets from our garden and we brought some uh, sweet potatoes and potatoes that were not from our garden, but they were from here. And, you know, prepared them and brought them to the meal. And we, we realized, we're like, hey, next year, our goal is that everything that we have at our Thanksgiving meal is gonna be locally grown. You know, either comes from our yard or it's, you know, it's from here. And what a cool thing for us was like, okay, we got home from Thanksgiving and sure enough there was our first seed catalog was, you know, waiting in the stack of mail and it was like, all right, let's start looking. What are we going to grow um, in order to prepare for this meal a year from now? And those sorts of things are so, yeah, I, I, how you get that, how you sort of, wheedle that down into those perfect value statements that says, oh my gosh, you could grow your own meal. You could celebrate with your family. You know, those are essential things that actually matter to people. That, that sort of leads back to Simon Sinek, the starting with why. 
Why are you doing this for people? You're doing it because of some pretty important essential things that all of your projects are hitting. Um, you're hitting the creative spirit, the healing spirit, the nourishing spirit um, with everything that you all are doing. So getting it moved down to those levels is part of what you're trying to do with this. So we're going to do um, a, a much faster exercise. You're going to spend five minutes, write down as many values, benefits as you can think of, prioritize them, and then you'll share them with a partner. But I want to share with you one more thing before we do that. Today, when I ran home um, to get my husband to set up the camera for our filming, um, this was in the mail for me. And um, over the summer, or maybe I guess it was the summer, I, I got for my dad a, um, I bought him, I adopted a bird for my dad for Father's Day. And I am now on a list that has been sold to every um, big environmental group, which you know I have been members of at varying times, but these are like the environmental groups that I've never been a member of, and now I know why. Today in the mail from the National Wildlife Federation, I got wrapping paper. Well, that just makes me curious. Doesn't this, I mean, so just when you think about value proposition and branding and all of these things, like not only is this disgusting, like that it's, you're sending me paper, you're sending me waste, there's not anything on this that has anything to do with wildlife, saving the planet, nothing. There's not even on this, there are no animals. There are dead trees, essentially, <laughs> and presents. And their bags are from China. So, and I get one of these at least once a month. I get stickers. And, you know, at least some of them have animals on them that feel like they're part of the, the branding and the message and the value. But, like, this is, and now clearly we're not, none of us are going to spend this amount of money to try and get members, blah, 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 blah. But this is what we're trying to not do is waste okay. people's time. I mean, they've clearly identified me as a part of a market segment that matters to them. I've purchased something in a relatively related field. I'm a woman. They probably know because when we learn next week, you'll learn that you can figure out that you know like how much our household makes and what we spend our money on and whether we have any kids, which we don't. Um, and so, I get this stuff monthly, yeah. and so thinking about, again, if I got something monthly that actually hit me in the right place, I'd probably send them money. I'd probably do something, but this is so far off of my values mm -hmm. um, that they're missing the message entirely. Even though I totally would, would send money to the Wildlife Federation, and I have in the past, mm -hmm. I think. You know, wasn't it the panda? I mean, or not the panda? Yeah, wasn't it like a thirty a World Wildlife Federation, which is different. This is the National Wildlife Federation, <coughs> so maybe they're different organizations. Who knows, yeah, though? Right? So how subtle is all of that? So that's part of why we're doing these exercises, though, is to help you think about what is the value to people, because you want to be communicating that value really strongly. You don't want to communicate the wrong value proposition to your customers. So, speech over. So now, <laughs> um, spend the next five minutes individually. Um, you've got, you're on page seven. Write down as many value propositions. Get as deep and as close to the core of people's values, your customer values, about what your project is. Then prioritize them, and then we'll do just little pairs to share with each other. Okay? And go. Mm-hmm.